All right, I've got the biggest smallie I've ever caught in my life. Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, good afternoon, guys. So this is the boundary waters of northern Minnesota, and it's a place right on the Canadian border in northern Minnesota, and it's a designated wildlife area. You cannot bring any generators or outboard motors. Everything you pack in, you have to pack out, and you can only go by canoe, and it's this whole chain of lakes that covers almost the entire border with Canada here in northern Minnesota. So, so I woke up this morning, and I'm just congested. I've got a headache. My whole sinuses are clogged. I'm totally sick, but there's no way that I'm gonna let a little sickness stop me from this adventure. So my friend Martin and I are gonna load up this canoe and we're gonna head out into the Boundary Waters. This is gonna be an epic adventure. Portage here. All right, so we got a portage. We got to take all of this gear out of the canoe, take it all the way down there, which is at least a mile and a half portage. And that one bag weighs almost 100 pounds in and of itself. This is going to be joyous. This was supposed to be a nice, relaxing journey. Oh, we've gone 15 feet and I'm already winded. I'm so out of shape. So, we're about a mile into the first portage with this 100 pound bag of camping equipment on my back. Oh, I'm holding up a lot more better than I thought that I was going to, especially for being sick. The end better be up here or I'm gonna die. All right, so we've got the first load onto this lake and now we gotta go back for the rest of the gear and the canoe. Oh boy. Hey, little buddy. Hey, you, get over here and help me with this stuff. There you go, yep, this stuff. No, nope, this stuff right here. Grab, hey, where are you going? Yeah, you lazy squirrel, now I gotta get all this stuff myself. I know this it doesn't look very heavy, but it is. That canoe, it's like 20 pounds. Oh. All right, I gotta go meet Martin, who's probably already at the other lake. Oh. oh, all right. We got all the gear and the canoe onto this new lake. So before you guys are like, hey Dave, you're such a wimp, you can handle all this. Keep in mind, I'm sick and I'm running a fever, but there's no way that I'm gonna let the flu keep me from this adventure. I just need to take a little break before we head out there. All right, so that blue dot is obviously us. Right up here by my thumb is where we're gonna camp tonight. So we've got quite a distance to go. Look at how big that lake is. All right, let's do this. We made it to the campsite 
on the first day after going across three lakes and then two portages. Each was four miles, both ways there and back to get gear. And we finally, that evening here on the first day, made it to our campsite. Oh, I am spent, but there's also this feeling of being out here that is just electrifying. Whew. Getting all the way out here into the middle of this wilderness was so worth it. So, all right, we gotta unload the canoe and set up camp. All right, look at how awesome this campsite is. Fire pit, seats, oh, home sweet home. I never wanna pick that damn thing up again. But oh man, look at that view. Man, that is just soul feeding. All right, so I'm gonna set up my tent right there. You ready? Watch this. Just like that, vlog special effects. All right, now that we got camp set up, we're gonna go out on the canoe and do a little fishing and maybe check out that waterfall that we had to portage around. Oh, so many boogers. Yeah. I've got the biggest smallie I've ever caught in my life. Right here. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Oh, oh. Holy crap! Holy shit, man. Oh my god. That, that is amazing. Is a monster smallie. Jeez. Holy crap. I have never caught a smallie this big. Look at that fish. Oh, we're about to crash. Yeah, whatever. Oh man, I gotta move the hair out of my face with fish line. Um, <laughs> wow. That is the biggest smallie I have ever caught in my life, for sure. That is a monster. Yeah. Oh, look at this monster. Holy crap, that's at least 22 inches. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna take a couple of photos. This guy's going right back in the lake where he belongs, but look at that. Woo! Hey. Guys, look at this amazing waterfall. This is what we had to portage around yesterday. I don't know, I think we could have gotten over this in the canoe. Oh, I'll tell you, this is the type of place that you just want to sit for a couple of hours stare at this beauty and just kind of let all the everyday toxins just drain right out of you. Whew, man. This is one incredibly beautiful place. Well, good morning. It's uh, our last day here in the Boundary Waters, and uh, there's an 80% chance of thunderstorms today, so we're gonna leave this campsite and head straight to the vehicle and then drive on out of here back to civilization. But this morning, we are not even gonna build a fire here because we don't wanna put it out, so we're just making some camp coffee, and then we have a ration of blueberry fig bars, and I've got to take down the tent. Martin's already taken down his tent. And then pretty soon, we're back on the lake going that way. All right, as I'm taking down my tent here, yeah. look at my, <laughs> that was my roommate last night. Oh, that's a big wolf spider. That was my little cuddle buddy last night. All right, buddy, you need to get out of here. Otherwise, you're going to be rolled up in this tent. All right, buddy, you got to get out of here. Come on. You gotta get out of here this way. Let's go. Yep. There's the exit. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, nope, this way, this way, this way. Nope, not on there, come on. Come on, Wolfie. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go, whoop, come on. All right, safe and sound. Nope, not under there either. Have a nice day, buddy. All right, so there is a massive storm coming in, so we're out of here, but this was an incredible campsite. I'm glad we canoed three lakes out here and two portages to get to this spot. It was so worth it, but we're out of here. All right, coffee stay. All right, so we are all loaded up. The headwind is coming this way and we gotta go that way. All right, there is the first portage. Whew, man, that was hard work getting across this lake. We've got two more lakes to go yet. Portage ho. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we haven't gotten rained on yet. Another four mile portage. This time, I gotta carry the canoe. Man. All right, so this is joyous. All right. Portage number two and the last one of the day. Man, this is beautiful. Land ho. Well, at least it stopped raining. All right, only about a mile left to go here on this first trip of this portage. Finally, the end. All right, so we got all our gear in the canoe. That is the very last portage of the trip, but that's an angry looking lake. And we have to go all the way around this island to get back to where we parked the car. And then, well, it's cheeseburger time. Whew, we're gonna take a little break here before we launch, but man, look at those white caps out there. The wind is coming this way, we're going that way once again. Ah, oh, adventure, I love it. There is the entry and exit point. We're almost off the lake and that means we are that closer to cheeseburgers. back to civilization. You know, I'll tell you, being in the Boundary Waters is an epic adventure, but that is some hardcore wilderness camping. And unless you are really skilled at wilderness camping, Boundary Waters might be a little too much, but it is so rewarding when you're out there, just you and your good friend and a canoe and all the equipment. So in the Boundary Waters, there are no motorized vehicles allowed and anything you bring in, you've got to pack out. And it is a designated wilderness area, one of only a few in the country. But man, this was just an epic adventure. I caught the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught in my life. Just absolutely epic. So until the next adventure, wherever that may be, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on. <laughs>